Mr. Tutu Angolube, the member of parliament for Kabwe Central, is still a very good man in our view. It is just that he is fond of characterizing himself with what we can call clandestine maneuvers that raise doubts about his commitments to public service. It is just now when we are recovering from his passion for the failed Bill No. 10 of Parliament, which he campaigned for with all his mind, heart and soul. Before we can even recover from his treacherous habits arising out of Bill No. 10, Tutu Angulube is back at it yet again. This time around, Tutwa is going around mountains and rivers in search of tricks to close down News Digger's newspaper for exposing wrongdoing in the procurement processes at the Ministry of Health. We have noticed with a lot of interest how Honeybee, Tutwa Ngulube's client, have gone flat out to find ways of having a newspaper that is exposing them to close. In all this, we can see the invincible hand of Tutwa Ngulube and his tricks trying to launder the wrongdoing that deprives Zambians of dignity and pride. We stand by News Digger's newspaper in defense of public interest and no amount of intimidation, including the use of public institutions such as National Pension Scheme Authority and Zambia Revenue Authority who fool Zambians ever again. These are old-fashioned attempts to curtail freedom of press and freedom of expression. We abhor this behavior and we find it to be cheap and abusive. For this, Tutwa is our loser for today. What a loser.